Testies, testies, one, two, three. You good over there? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right, y'all. <clears throat> we back in the lab, we back in the studio. Captain's Law Podcast and YouTube show. What's going on? I'm your host, Robert Marbury. This is my co-host, Rick Snipe. What's happening? What's good, Brody? What's up? I ain't shit, man. I ain't shit. So look, man, we um we recorded episode 75 a couple days ago, but we fucked it up though. Well, I fucked it up. Well, the shit I this shit, we we fucked it up. We just gonna put it that way. So we're doing it over. You know what I'm saying? Big announcement. Um, I got a co-host now. Good friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? Was really an avid listener of the show. Was was giving me a lot of insight. Was giving me a lot of feedback that I was that I was yearning for. And um, I just realized that um, I can't do this by myself. And it'd be that much better if I got somebody to argue with. So. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Further ado about my man Rick sniping in real quick, just get my overview. Who you are, a little slower. You was you were rushing it last time. You know what I'm slower. saying? <laughs> give him a little All quick right. overview, tell him who you are, and we can get to rolling. All right, so real quick, uh, for those who don't know, my name is Rick Snipe. Um born and raised in this area, the DMV area, PG County to be exact. Um, married three kids, uh, Work for the government. I'm in the military. I'm a personal chef and firearms instructor as well. So if you ever need chef services or you know your HQO, your, your CCW, I'm your guy. Just go ahead and make sure that you uh, reach out to me on all my social media platforms, which will be pinned on all the shows. So appreciate it. All right. So without further ado, man, let's 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 go ahead and get into it, man. It's uh. I would say it was a great Christmas, man, but the shit was rough. But let's just go ahead and start a day after Christmas. What the fuck is up with my former Washington football team, bro? Your former? You former team, bro. Right? Listen, 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 listen. I listen. I need you to bear with me, bro. First of all, I I gotta I gotta take a shot, man. Cause this is just, this this where I'm at. This is where they got me at. You know what I'm saying? At 5 p.m. on a Monday. This is where they got me. Five or three. <laughs> anyway, uh, I can't do it no more, bro. Like that shit yesterday, bro. Fourteen and fifty six. You know what I'm saying? Sunday night. First of all, we already don't play good on primetime sports. So off bucks, I already said that. Like we should have just made this shit a one o'clock game. We got our asses whooped last game. We should have just slid this joint under one o'clock where nobody can view it. And we would have just been all right, bro. But they played like fucking trash, dog. Listen, I'm not blaming shit on Heineke. I'm not. The reason why I'm not, I'm not blaming it on Heineke is for the simple fact that, like, Heineke ain't have no time, bro. You know what I mean? Shout out to Mike, to Michael Parsons. I got to give credit when credit's due. I got to give credit to Dak. You know what I'm saying? I got I got to give yeah, credit to Michael Parsons. I'm only giving you two. That's it. So, um... <laughs> I mean, the first play, you know what I mean, through the pick, you know what I mean, Trayvon did snatch the shit. I was like, uh, I mean, I, I I don't think I would have threw that. But he tried to come out the gate, though. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he tried yeah, to he come out the gate, and he tried to come out the gate and make the statement saying, well, this is where we at. We going to get back. Shit didn't work out in our favor. I just think yeah. he just don't have an arm for that shit, bro. I, I, it's, I don't think – I'm not going to say he doesn't have the arm. But like he was doing in the beginning when he first started, when he first started playing, he was just rushing, rushing, and the accuracy wasn't there. And then he and and he was doing things a little too fast. But once he slowed things down, right, he became a little bit more accurate. We were winning games, less interceptions, and in the and the whole nine. So I I don't know, I don't know what was the contributing factor. Uh, communication was definitely a key. There was plenty of times where. People was lined up in the wrong positions, and he was yelling at them to get on this side or do whatever. And then there were miscues, so it, it it was just a bad night, man. It was just a bad night. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So, so I I agree with, I agree with you on that when he said, okay, let me slow the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? Get myself together and get ready to come back out and play. He didn't have that option this game, bro. No, bro, he, he was in the hurry like 98 percent of the game, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Offensive line ain't have nothing for my man. No. Run That's game I, I, non-existent. I tell people all the time: if your offensive line is trash, then you don't have an offense. And it's just plain and simple. It's second and third order of effect. So if your offensive line is playing like trash, your quarterback is going to continue to get rushed, which is going to force him to throw the ball. 
uh, when he wasn't, when he's not supposed to. And then if you're trying to do or establish a run game, they're blasting the hole, so you have no run option. Nothing. You, you, you can't off. listen. He couldn't. So. He couldn't even, bro. He was trying to throw halfback passes. You know what I'm saying? Play action. He could do nothing. Literally, as soon as he hiked the ball. Because Parsons is so vicious at what he does, you don't have time for that shit. And now it's like you can't really throw the ball because they're like, well, they know we're going to throw. You know what I'm saying? And what other receivers we got that's really striking? And that's that's what the one thing I said, bro. We depend so we depended so much on Logan Thomas, though. We depended on him so much, which is another problem that we always have. We get one receiver or we get one fucking running back or we get one tight end and we use their ass up, bro. Because yeah. if Logan Thomas was playing, he would have had about fucking 18 goddamn catches or attempted throws just to try to pull us out of the game, man. But then um, um, the defense was getting torched, bro. Well, our, our secondary will forever. Well, we trying. ain't never had no good secondary, bro. Yeah. Somebody please yeah, argue cool. with me. We always got a vicious front four. But no. Secondary always been garbage. I mean, it was so yeah, bad. Garbage, it was so bad, bro, that like it was just kind of like letting them catch it and then trying to like put the big hit on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then on top of that, they're trying to put the big hit on them and nobody's rapping. No, nobody's I rapping. Hate Everybody hate just, they just, they want straight shoulder to chest or, uh, or some missed tackle. Yeah, I, I hate, I hate when you're a professional athlete and you get paid millions and the bare minimum thing that you can do is rap while you tackle and they fail to do that. Bro, they was, they, they, they was playing angry ball, man. They was playing angry, angry ball, fighting on the sidelines. Jonathan Allen, was it uh, Payne? Uh, 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 what was his name? Payne? Whatever the fuck. They need motherfuckers fighting on the sideline, which is expected. It's football. You know what I'm saying? You show emotion. Everybody was like, oh, it's unprofessional and all this. I'm like, bro. Yeah, the media the media took it and ran with it. Bro, right? that shit okay. happened a lot more. more. Oh, listen, when yeah, I yeah, when I when, yeah, yeah, when I worked true. at the stadium, bro, I used to see that shit every other game because we really stunk that fucking year. And they used to be fucking tussling and all that shit. So they just happened to catch it on camera. And as you can yep. see, even even in the halftime show, they had his ass in the background on the screen. You know what I mean? With him, you know what I mean? Knees going up and down. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, we losing. I mean, it, it, it at least showed me some some emotion. I thought that that anger was going to turn into a sack or something like that. Bro, Doc had all fucking day to throw the ball, bro. All day. With no pressure. No pressure, bro. All day to no throw pressure. the ball. Endless catches. I mean, everybody got the ball. Pick six. Block punt. Yeah, once he once he threw that interception and the uh and old boy tipped it and caught it to himself and then ran it back for for a touchdown, that was that was the nail in the coffin right there. That was the nail in the coffin right there. Cause it it completely went up shit's creek after that after that play. I agree, dog. I agree. Listen, my wife came to me. It was it was a, it was into half it was halftime, and she was like, uh, "Can we go watch a movie?" She didn't even want me to sit. She didn't even want me to endure that shit anymore she, she because felt, she, she felt sorry for you. She felt sorry for me, and she know that she know the rest of the rest of my evening is gonna be ruined. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just how I am with my sports, man. I'm just like I, I you just like we just can't be this bad every year, dog. Yeah. Every it's, year, uh, it's it's, every, it's it's it it's every year, and then like every several years, we get like a little little hope, right? And we're like, oh shit, all right, we did decent this year, we did mediocre this year, we finished like what six to six, eight eight, eight mm. and we're good. Aaron, and look, let you know the next two three years is pure shit. Aaron Aaron Aaron, Aaron Deller says. Changes. Aaron Deller says he's the Baker Mayfield of the NFC. Ah. Mm. I don't know. Yep. That man E says all touchdown catches, they was wide open. Yes, they were. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, they just gave up, man. All, all, them, all them touchdown catches, they was wide open. They gave no up, man. Whatsoever. They was up 28-0 in the first quarter. I mean, the game was already over. I'm thinking, I was like, it's a lot of football left. Granted, I already knew the game was over. But you know me being an asshole, I, I got I got to just, I got to stick with them, man. But, nah, I'm just putting it out there right now. You heard it here first. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done for the end of the season, and I'm done for next season. I ain't you ain't gonna hear no no WFT shit next year from me. I'm gonna sit back. I ain't jumping ship yet. But what I'm saying is 
I'm yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not supporting this shit this year. I'm damn sure not supporting it next year. And if they play like some shit next year, then I'm a free agent. No. Nah. They they gonna they gonna have to cut me, bro. No. Nah. <laughs> they 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 they, they gonna have they gonna have to yeah, don't they gonna have to buy me out. I'm dog. gonna have to question I'm gonna have to question your loyalty at that point. I don't listen, I don't give listen, you didn't do what the fuck you gotta do. Bro, I've been dealing with this shit <laughs> since fucking Mark Brunel, since Lavernius Coles, bro. I've been dealing with this. Since okay, since peak condition Clinton Porters. I can't me keep doing too. this, bro. Like, I did, I can't keep doing this. I don't I don't listen, I don't deserve this. I, I gotta I gotta go get this tattoo covered up. Look, look, Ralph said real watching the football team fans cry and drinking the dark. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. Bro, we got thank you, Ralph. Thank yes. Del Del Rio defense scheme is basic as fuck. We ain't never had like we've always had a really good front four, couple of decent linebackers. The secondary yeah, has secondary always is been defense. garbage. Yep. So what so our what, secondary ain't been, our secondary ain't been fired since Daryl Green and Sean Taylor. Bro. Nope. So what's the solution? What's the solution? And then we're gonna move I don't on. know. We we we've done everything we can. I feel like we did everything, bro. <laughs> We've done everything we can. We just got to get better players. I That's think we it. just. I think we need to get. I think it's got to be the owner, bro. Yeah, I agree. Oh yeah, most definitely. It's got to be the owner. That. You know Everybody they. Knows that. You know they were talking about moving the stadium to motherfucking somewhere out fucking Chantilly, Virginia, or Loudoun County somewhere. I was like, shit. You already ain't got nobody in the damn stands. You go ahead and move that shit out there if you want. Was it the actual stadium? or Was it another training? Facility? They talking about. They talking about. It was an idea. To build a stadium in Virginia. It was an idea for them to redo RFK too. I mean, I don't see why not. Why not? RFK falling the fuck apart. Screws and cement falling off that shit midday. I mean, why not just rebuild it? No, I, I agree. So the thing then my question would be, what would you do with FedEx? What would you do with FedEx? Turn it into a sports car. I don't give a listen. I don't forward? give a shit what they do with FedEx. Just do <laughs> something. Get a team name. Yeah, just get, get a, a give the tool, give the team a fucking name. Good job, yeah, Marcus Stone. Give the team a name. A team a team with no name is getting no wins. Is getting their asses. Somebody, somebody said our new name is going to be the Commanders or some shit like that. I don't care, bro. We we could be the fucking god. We could be the ass kissers, bro. Like we just need to win, bro. Yeah. Like we're not winning any games, bro. Yeah, uh, time we spend spending money on that online on them corners. We be good. And and Landon Collins didn't even play. No, no, listen, listen. So I understand this. No. I'm good. I'm just gonna give a disclaimer. I understand we got motherfucking players out on COVID. Not that many. We only had five players that was on either COVID or injured reserve this game. So all that we had twenty something players. It's no fucking excuse. Yes, Dallas is a good team. You know what I'm saying? They they playing, but we just shouldn't have got our asses whooped like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. We 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 taking bleachers and shit to other people's stadiums, jocking Dallas style. Let's see, let's see how that fucking worked out. And then we gotta play these motherfuckers again. We gotta play them again in New York. Bro, just lose the games. Yeah. Like I don't even I don't even wanna be I don't even wanna be in that position where uh uh all we gotta do is goddamn this this team gotta lose, that team gotta lose, the whole NFC gotta lose for us to get in the playoffs. We don't yeah, deserve I'm, to I'm go, bro. Yeah, I'm over it at this point. Just lose, and we can make a move. You know what I'm saying? Yep. No, I agree with you 100%. Fuck, man. What what, what, what else is everybody saying? <laughs> da, 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 da. They need to spend dollars on the old line of corner. Nah, Aaron, 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 Aaron was saying it's the ownership. I know. We, it's we definitely the ownership, that. bro. It's definitely like, you know, old boy need to get up out of there. So. Okay. All right, let's move on, man. It's technically still Christmas. It ain't it, Christmas ain't over to me until it's fucking New Year's. So really, I was I was gonna wear my Christmas, Christmas shirt. Christmas over. Christmas over. Okay. All right. So let's move Tree on, down. man. Christmas <laughs> miscellaneous. First of all, how was Tree your down. Christmas? How was your Christmas, my man? How was it? Uh, overall, the Christmas was good. Um, it sucked because you know, for those who don't know, uh, myself and my wife uh, contracted COVID, so it sucked. Uh, you know, we really couldn't go see family and stuff like that. But for the most part, it was, it was good. You know what I mean? For the most part, uh, Christmas was focused on the kids. So they got what they wanted. Everybody was happy. Had some good food. It was like my first time actually able to eat legit food with no issues, no problems. 
I went to sleep after I ate a plate. I was good. What about yours? Uh, it, it was chill, man. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, our Christmas kind of got fucked up a little bit because we had to buy a washer and dryer. But we said, look, we're going to get y'all ass after Christmas like the adults do. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. I, I mean, my daughter, she got her little Barbie mansion. She took me like 30 minutes to put together. And she in there going, she up there going up escalators and swinging on, on chairs and, and, and blow up beds and showers with, with fucking lights and shit blinking on the top. I've been like, God damn. Barbie really yeah, living up out here. And, and Ken got cornrows. He got the dusty corn. I'm like, this nigga named Kendrick. It ain't Ken shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, I gave my son some money, and then he got he got some fucking LED lights. He didn't pull all all over his room. His room like a like a goddamn circus in there now. Yeah, and, yeah, um, that's what that's that's what they into. Uh, my older she has those, and then um, she already had those. But we got her a, a vinyl player, a record player, mm. wireless and Bluetooth. And I got her uh, Kendrick Lamar Astro World on vinyl. Shit, I got the candy. You talking about the uh uh what's the what's the one with the van? Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, I got that I shit got too. One, yeah, yeah, I bought it too. I bought it on yeah, Amazon. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't I don't, I don't have we on, don't have a record player. Why the fuck did I buy it? Got that on vinyl and got Astro on vinyl. Those are I know two of her favorite albums. Um and it's actually pretty decent, man. It's actually pretty loud, portable, came out with a nice design. I found it um at this place out in uh Hangerstown, second and Charles. It was pretty good and then uh you know the the two youngest got uh, switches. That was the main thing they wanted, just electronics. I mean, everybody got clothes and money after that. So. Mm. Honestly, bro. Like y'all, me and wifey, we take care of each other yeah. after Christmas. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Honestly, bro, like, if it wasn't for the wife, my son wouldn't have got shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a real big advocate. Even though, even though I'm not the enforcer on school, I'm not the school enforcer. I am the either you getting shit or you ain't getting shit, though. So, yeah. like, you know, my son, between. yeah, my son grades is kind of like, he got like two grades that's that's some shit right now. And I'm like, right. but the thing is, it's like I didn't really find out about it until like the day before Christmas. So here I am, and I'm like, you knew about this the whole time? I'm I'm just looking at my wife with the with the look of betrayal because I would have just shut shit down. He'd be like, Merry Christmas. I'm like, nah, nigga, Merry nothing. Fuck yeah, are you talking exactly. about. So we I gonna, got a makers, I got makers forty six in my cup, bro. Ask him what we're sipping on. Oh, that's what we're sipping? Uh, I'm taking shots of uh, Terra Mana, the re- Reposado. That's the gold shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we don't drink every episode. Just most of them. And, <laughs> and, and, and whatever the ones in the future that haven't came out yet. You feel me? <laughs> so, look, in the future, man, real quick for the listeners and the viewers, just as of now, we're doing this thing remote because COVID's fucking everything up right now. And I'm on this vicious ass platform. I'm really digging. I can add these little over- overlays and shit. shit. Shit looking real Channel 5 news right now. And um, <laughs> But in the future, we'll both be sitting in the same room. And if we have a guest, you know what I'm saying, our guest will be on the other screen. Or they may be in the same room. Who knows? But um, anything. So let's talk about uh, Christmas traditions, man. You, you, got tradi- you got traditions in your house? Uh, kind of, sort of, just low key. You know what I mean? Like, just and it's mainly for the adults, but not for the kids. You know what I mean? Like me, you know, I I have to sip eggnog while I'm wrapping gifts. What? Why is eggnog, that? Spike, spike eggnog. I don't know. It's just something that spike nog. Yep, something that's picked up for myself, and and we just keep it moving. Other than that, man, we we try to make it different because last christmas we didn't have like the normal food just like you know this thanksgiving we didn't have the normal food so you know we just change it up and just make it different and then next year we'll probably be doing something different but uh that's that's pretty much about it man we don't, we don't really do you know uh we do wear onesies you had the matching onesies no nah, not matching everybody had their own i don't want to match bro I'm, I'm not there I yet a, bro. i got a grinch i got a grinch onesie I'm not there on the matching shit. Why be getting on me? She's like, you wear matching. I'm like, we ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. When we get to 10 years, we can wear matching shit. All right. When we go outside, we're going to be like a unit. Yeah, yeah. We, we could just wear like some matching socks or matching, yeah, bra- go, matching bracelet. We can, we can start. Uh, who's got the best eggnog? Was asked in the comments. I don't drink eggnog, so this is coming from you. So there is a brand in Wegmans. It's their Wegmans brand, but it's their premium eggnog. Mix that with a little bit of Maker's Mark 46. 
good. That's the that's the one I get. I don't get the Seven Comfort one or whatever. I get the Wegmans brand, which is now the Bougie Shoppers Premium Eggnog. Don't fuck with the eggnog, bro. Just put some ginger ale in my shit, man. Call it a day. I nah, I, but I can only do a little bit, you know. Black coat, black coat top. I'm gonna do a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I meant to ask you about that. I was, I was like, boy, you playing with fire, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> living, you living on the edge over there for some motherfucking eggnog. One cup, that's it. But one cup would do me good though. I'm on that turkey hill. Hey, whatever way, look, whatever get it done for you. It's Christmas. All right. So look, so traditions for me. Uh I think we're trying to. I think we're trying to build it. So we just paint it. The other day, I got paintings and shit. They on the wall back there. Yeah, I seen that. You real Picasso over there? Nah, bullshit. Look, she, she, my wife made really made it seem like I did some like some motherfucking uh, little bit yeah shit. I'm like, bro, yeah, it was, I just painted like, it. I just painted like, it. I think hers like looks better than mine. I th- like a black Bob Ross. Nah, bro, nah. I think hers looks better than mine. But I, but she said she's. That's why I asked the question because she was just like, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, maybe we can start some traditions. Maybe we can do this every year. And I'm like, I mean, I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? Anything, but you know, mm-hmm. besides just keeping a cup in my hand. But uh, so we did that. And honestly, I think the only thing that uh, I definitely want to stay on is this a big a big Christmas breakfast. You know what I mean? I you know you know I usually be working the holidays, so I don't work. Mm. I didn't work Christmas, and I'm not working New Year's either. It feels weird to be off. I feel like I've been off for four days, so definitely the breakfast uh, uh, is huge because you know we eat in here. So full spread on the breakfast. You know what I'm saying? The sugary shit and the salty shit, and uh, you know I the only thing, only tradition that I would personally like to do is having everybody stay up to midnight and let them open their gifts. It's weird to me, but as a child, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, used to do, I used to do that as a kid. Yeah, I would stay up to 12 and be like, it's 12, it's 12, it's 12, it's 12, it's Christmas, can I open my shit? And then they would let me go. But it bit me in the ass one time where I was being, you know what I'm saying? I, it was like 11.59. I started sprinting towards the tree. I think I was like eight or nine. And I stepped on a, a thumbtack. Stepped on a thumbtack and almost knocked Shut the damn, down. yeah, almost knocked the tree over, bro. And uh, I was all fucked up. Yeah, I was, I was, I was hurting Christmas morning because I was on patrol duty because we had put the cage up and put the tree up mm-hmm. for the dog, but the, the dog had ate the tree skirt, for the Christmas tree. So I was like, oh, I don't need Lord. him ripping the pleasant the presents up neither. Wow, wow, wow! Everybody was asleep, so I stayed up a little bit. It was like four o'clock, four thirty by the time I did, I started dozing off, and then. The kids came at like seven thirty, eight o'clock. It was like, come on, Christmas. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is, it, is it Christmas yet? You know they'd be Christmas ready. Yet? You know they'd be fucking ready. Okay, so yeah, Christmas is over now, though. So yeah. when do the tree come down? Tree's no, down. no, first of all, first of all, when should the tree come down? Because I know everybody motherfucking tree's still up. So it is so normally I, I'll. Uh, I normally keep it till New Year's, but um, I got, I took it down yes this morning. So. <laughs> he took just, the tree down just, already. Yeah, I mean to be honest, man, like it ain't really been Christmassy this year. Has no, it? it hasn't, bro. I I, I ain't it been hasn't. in the spirit. Holidays, though. holidays ain't really been the holidays you know, for like the past two years. To be honest, to keep it honest. I ain't been so, in, I ain't been in the spirit, bro. I won't even lie to you. I, I said I'm trying to get yeah. better because I know my. I mean, I don't think my kids believe in Santa Claus, but they just like. I think they was really no, expecting. They was really no. expecting like rap gifts, and I just walked in from the and the shit I was hiding in the garage under an old dirty towel. I was like, here y'all go. Like <laughs> Merry Christmas, nah, ho ho, motherfuckers. Nah, nah, we we wrap the gifts and put them with the tree. That's one thing we you know we will do or whatever. But it was just. It was just rough this Christmas, man. With everything going on and shit, it just it, it just just wasn't in that Christmas spirit this yeah, year. Fuck but. you, COVID. This is, I just want to spend a <laughs> special fuck you to COVID nineteen out there, just out here, just fucking everything up. COVID nineteen, if you're listening, if if you're you. listening, if you're listening, just give me a call. I just want to personally say how you just been fucking shit up for the last two years, bro. Yeah. Like. Niggas be thinking, oh, I'm I'm at home, I'm teleworking and all this. Bro, you're not saving any money, though. You're not saving any money. No, you're actually spending more money. So I I got, I got a quick question from the uh from the, the stream. It says, thoughts on telling kids Santa is real. 
I mean, I feel like we never really had that conversation. I just think it was just one day the kids saw that, like, my daughter asked for the Barbie house, and she saw it in the garage, and she knew it was delivered from Amazon. I just never had to tell her, hey, I'm Santa. Me and Mom are Santa. I mean, I don't know. Is, is that is that some we, uh, we, we we gangsters in my house? Even the five year olds know what's up. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't we don't do all that. I'm just like ah, I mean, look, I'm buying the shit. You know what I'm saying? Do what you need to do, and the tree gonna be fat. If you see that thing looking skimped, I mean, you was bullshitting. That's yeah, just that's, that's that's pretty much how we carry it for the most part. That's pretty much how we carry. It. We're not big proponents of you know make believe shit for real, for. Real. So you do the real tree or the fake tree? Actually, I used to do a real tree, but if it was up to me, a one tradition that will start will go cut my own Christmas tree and bring it back. It's hard to do that with the dog and everything else and smells. So I got a pre-lit Christmas tree that has all the fixings on it. So it's a fake tree, but it has lights on it. It has little pine cones. Even the ends are frosted, and it looks really, really good when it's up. And it actually looks like a real tree, but um, uh, we had to get rid of the tree this year. So uh, who knows what we're going to have next year? Depends. We ain't never had no real tree, bro. You ain't never had no real tree for what? It sounds. It sounds. We, it sounds like we, it, it sounds like a pet. Like, why do I need a real tree? Don't you got to put that shit under water or something like that so it don't get yeah, dry? You got to put it. You got to put it in the basin, fill it with water. You, you asking? Water you, are, you already asking too much. Like, nigga, I just want to. I just want to go down to the basement or go to the attic, pull that old, pull that out. pull that seven year old box that's falling apart, and just throw that motherfucker up and maybe just I'll, put I'll, put a couple candy canes on the bitch and call it I'll, a day. I'll treat. I'll treat a shit this year, like literally the day after this morning. It why it got put away. It was fine until this morning, but um, we've always had fake trees when I was a kid. So I was just like, well, I want to have real trees in my house. So we started with real trees. And it lasted for a while, but then, you know, the dog was smelling it. And our first dog, he was just all in the tree. And then pine needles and shit was everywhere. So I was just like, eh, went to Big Lots and got me a, a oh, good big old. Big Lots. Listen. Got a good old display for the low. And it lasted like six years with no issues. So I'm like, listen, we might have to go down. But pre lit Christmas trees are like three hundred dollars now, so. bro. I seen a motherfucking we'll Christmas tree. That thing, it was a thing of beauty. In goddamn Costco, that mu- that motherfucker was two fifty, but that bitch was ten feet tall. And I was yeah. like, next year yeah, you coming yeah. home? Yeah. You coming home? Yeah. You know my walls is tall. Yeah. So next year, I, I know we doing got it two up. Christmas trees. I know people got two or three Christmas trees in their house. Why? Why? I, I don't ask. Would they be rotating uh, each year? No, they got them in different rooms. They got <laughs> multiple. Christmas come on, bro. Come house. on, bro. Come on, come on. You you doing you doing I, too much at this point? I, I'll tell you who it is offline, but they got multiple Christmas trees. One it better not be room. nobody I know. You do, you do know who it is. They got Christmas tree. In the I, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to say it Christmas out loud, tree. but I feel like I know. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas tree in the living room, and Christmas tree in the dining room, and big Christmas trees, and 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 she decorates them shit from head to toe. Mm. So, what's the plans for New Year's? Um, we chilling, man. Uh, wifey wants seafood and and steak, so uh, probably do surf and turf. Make her favorite some oyster Rockefellers, and you know we chill, man. You know, January's January's pregame for her birthday, so. Oh shit, man! I feel like New Year's Eve, bro. Like I used to go real hard on New Year's Eve, probably like ten years ago, back back in them twenties, yeah. the, the, <laughs> the heydays, the the young Thundercat days, where <laughs> I need I needed to know who was throwing the party, or what club we was in, or what band we was playing, et cetera, et cetera. And um, now, man, I think it was I don't know if it was maybe because it was a couple of incidents or. Maybe I just felt like it just wasn't that drive home was just so dangerous that like now, bro, like unless somebody having a function at a crib where I most likely have to stay, I'm staying home, bro. Yeah, we 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 in the we in the house for the most part, bro. We to old now, honest, bro. We, we old. That's all. Yeah, it is. just turn in the whole body, but then it's just like you know that, and you know I, I give all you know shout out to the wife, but ah, she, she starting to. Not fuck with people more and more, 
And so I just, you know. Oh, you, oh, oh, you, you didn't know that's how. What you, you thirty, you turned thirty five, right? Thirty five. Yeah. Oh my God. Do you, do you know what's gonna happen when you go from thirty five to thirty six? What? Nigga, half these niggas you fucking with, you're not fucking with them, bro. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, is you I talking mean, about? Listen, that's already the thing now. But you know, I was the social butterfly. I was the, you know, the 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 you know the popular kid in school, and I was out and about in the streets. You know what I mean? Back in my back in my heyday. But you know, as I got older, and you know, my wife got me hip to shit, and people, and you know, vibes and all that. I was just like, eh, I'm not fucking with people. Mm. Bro. Like I'm just. I'm just sitting in the house. I'm so, content with sitting in the house. So like, real, I was fine mm-hmm. during COVID. So real quick, I just want to interject because I I got I got a viewer said Rob doesn't fuck with the college football, but thoughts on the playoffs. So this mm. is the thing. I I I, I could have got on the Wizards today because they played like some shit the other night. And honestly, I dumb. It's too many teams for college football for me. So we're taking this in spurts. It's our first live. So I just I just want to see how this thing is going. And then from there, we'll 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 you know we'll sharpen it to make it better. But no, I'm definitely not. I, I definitely don't know shit about no college football, and uh, I'm not dealing with the Wizards. They pissed me off. But they but they was missing Bill from COVID. But uh, I, to 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 me, it seems like this year it's it's going to be a New Year's Zoom or it's going or it's going to be New Year's this. Like I just you just don't know, man. Like the whole house had to go get tested. You know what I'm saying? My son was sick. Shit, I was sick. My wife's sick now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna sit this one out. I mean, it won't be no different from from pre pandemic when I uh, just sat in the house and didn't do shit. Yeah, so I mean, it, COVID or not, we was in the house for the most part. You know, you know, we even, you know, should get live on all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, see, I'm yeah, I'm 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 hoping I'm hoping shit get uh. I'm hoping shit kind of died down mid January. I know these other folks, these good folks, uh, millennials versus the world. Shout out to them. Uh, podcast. They having an event somewhere in the city. Live panel joint. I was trying to pull up on them and, and see see what that was like. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, maybe they got a plan B, man, because it's just not a good look to be pulling up and nobody function right now, man. No, it's it's not. Everything shut down. It's like a, I was talking to the wife earlier. It's like a soft shutdown right now. You got flights canceling now because of COVID. You got sports canceling. So <clears throat> outdoor tra- uh, indoor track season for us is done uh, until further notice. Right now, I just got that word a couple days ago. So the indoor track indoor track season is done. School's done for right now. My job just shut down temporarily. They're not allowing people in the building. So it's it's a soft shutdown right now, man. It's just. People need to get their act together, man. People need to get their act together. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. <laughs> Wear your mask. <laughs> hey, hey, you gave me the alley oop on that one, man. Wear your, Wear mask. your mask, man. Oh, All right, but look, man. So we're gonna wrap it up. Um, I definitely want to thank everybody who chimed in on the live. I want to thank oh, you. Definitely. For saying you was gonna come fuck with me on this thing, man. I already kind of feel it. You know what I mean? Shit is a lot. Shit was really fluent. It was easy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we yeah, got yeah, we got yeah. some good com. We got some comments in there. Shout out to Marcus Stone, Ty yeah, S1, that's, that's, Aaron that's, Della. That's my bro, man. You know what I'm that's saying? Good, Shout out to everybody on the IG live that came in. I threw a couple waves in there. Shout out to Gus and them. Ert. Next next episode, man. We're gonna be doing the same thing, but we're doing it with hot wings. How we gonna have our old hood hot ones edition? We doing we doing the hood hot ones inspired by the hot ones whole season sixteen is it sixteen season nine whatever the whatever the fuck season current season went out here and bought the whole Blakey man and um I don't be eating hot food like that so we we gonna figure out how far we can go and uh, we just gonna keep doing this man so the plan is when we do the lives I, I gotta let y'all know I'm gonna be transparent. When we do the lives, it's just going to be me and Rick. When we have a guest, it's going to be pre-recorded because the way the internet is, the internet ain't really completely fucking with us right now. But if you like what you, you like, what you heard, you like what you saw, make sure you share, subscribe, support. Tell somebody, tell them, tell them y'all fucking with us. You got anything? Nah, man. Other than that, man, everybody uh, continue to be safe, man. Enjoy your holidays. Uh, take care of your family, your loved ones. And uh, just keep moving. Make sure y'all tune in until the next show. That's it, bro. All right, y'all. Captain out.